well, we expect our players to be hopefully be competitive. We've been training since uh, December second, and uh, we've brought players uh, seven lane players, uh, ranging from the age of 19 to 30. Um, so hopefully the players do themselves justice and and. Um, and we haven't had a player receive an offer of a contract from Scandinavia. We have a 99% success rate of the players getting contracts in Ireland. But we're hopeful that maybe tomorrow one of the players will have caught the eye of, of one of the scouts or managers that are here tomorrow and hopefully they'll get a contract in Scandinavia. So no uh, teams from Ireland are here to scout or what? Yeah, I, I, I suppose our own pre-season starts this weekend uh, coming. Uh, and I think financially, our league, they would probably look at players from Sweden and, and Norway and, and Finland and think to themselves that maybe the what the expectation of the wage that the players from them countries would look for would be something maybe that in Ireland that um, our clubs couldn't offer. So I think at the moment that would be the situation. We've, we've brought a lot of press. It carries a hell of a lot of press in Ireland. Um, we would have three, three of our main newspapers, the Sun, the Star and the Irish Independent, who travel with us. So it's a big story in Ireland, the competition. Uh, it's a big profile for the players. It raises the seven in players who comes. It raises their profile. But it's something that we have to break into a little bit more is to try and encourage our managers uh, to come and travel. I think the timing of the tournament is a little bit late for them because pre-season starts this weekend and they're preparing their team. So. If you had to describe the team you brought here, what, what team is it? Yeah, it would be. It, it, it wouldn't be as a, as experienced as the teams that maybe we've brought before. Uh, it would be a lot younger, um, but that maybe shows uh, that the, the our league has stabilised a little bit. That uh, offers of contracts are coming a little bit earlier for players. The wages haven't gone up, or the length of the contract hasn't hasn't got any longer. But clubs are in a better position financially to offer contracts earlier, so that leads us to to be bringing the younger players, which is good, um, and gives gives the players an opportunity. A lot of these players have never travelled away before, so it gives them an opportunity to prepare for games uh, like you would if you were playing in European competition. So I think um, there's a lot of pluses for for the young players that we've brought that they can experience being what being a, a real professional is like.